you guys it's Sarah welcome back to the channel I hope you guys are all doing amazing thank you for tuning into today's video today I'm back with another Dollar Tree DIY video so if you guys have been liking these DIYs let me know by giving it a thumbs up if you have not seen my last one I will have it linked up here in the cards for this video I wanted to share with you guys how to make these three beachy farmhouse DIYs. So recently I've been obsessed with this coastal vibe mixed with farmhouse. So I'm gonna share with you guys three super easy DIYs that you can add to your regular decor. I just wanna remind you guys that if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you click the subscribe button. Um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Without further ado, let's get started. So for our first DIY, we're going to be making a ladder inspired picture frame. I've been seeing a lot of these ladder picture frames going around Pinterest, so I'm going to try to make my own. The first thing or the main thing that you're going to need is some 8x10 picture frames. I chose these faux wood looking ones, but they do have some beachy options. You can either go for a lighter washed or even some have like those blue tones in it, which would look really nice. I also got one package of the fishing net decor. You can leave this out. It was a little hard to work with, but it adds that beachy vibe. You're also going to need one package of the magnet clips. We're just going to be using the clips, but the package of four is perfect. So to get started, this is what you're going to have to do. I took all of the packaging off of my picture frames and I'm going to take the glass and the inside of the frame apart. Once that's all done, you're going to take the outside of the frame and we're going to place it vertically and then place them in the row of four. Using a mixture of hot glue and E6000, we're going to place all of our frames together. The hot glue allows it to dry immediately and the E6000 makes sure that it stays put together. So you do want to apply a little bit of pressure or some clamps. If later on, you guys will see that I'm using just like some duct tape to hold it together, but you want to make sure that there is a lot of pressure so that it doesn't come apart. I placed more hot glue on the back and this is just so that it stays together and we're going to do this for all of the picture frames. Once it's dry I took the magnet off of the back of the clamp and I hot glued it to the center of the picture frame. Next I'm going to add the fishing net and I'm just going to cut it to the right size. This was a little bit hard to work with but I tried my best. Once I measured it out I flipped it over and I'm going to use hot glue to just adhere it to the back of all four of the picture frames. So now it's time to add the shells. I used two different packages of the shells. These ones are more flat and they also have the bigger white ones. I would definitely suggest the ones that I'm showing more. Just using the, it, this is like heavy duty hot glue. It helps it to stick a lot better. It's from Martha Stewart. I'll have it linked down below. But you could also use the Gorilla Glue Sticks. You wanna make sure that you're using something heavy duty so all of the shells don't come popping off. Once I did that, I did that all the way up. I kind of did it like every other side, just mixing and matching it, you guys will see. But the more shells, the better it looks, so I just added as many as my little heart desired. Once everything was all dry, I hung some of my favorite pictures of my sisters, my husband, my kids. This way you can also change the pictures in and out. Nothing has to stay the way that it does. You could even do wedding invitations or your kids artwork. Whatever you desire, it just allows you to be able to change it more often. I absolutely love the way that it turned out and it has that whole coastal vibe that I was going for. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Let's move on to DIY number two. So this next DIY is super easy. I'm reusing one of these wood pieces that I used in an old DIY where I put the lantern on it, but you could use just a regular scrap piece of wood, paint it white, whatever you have in your house that's just plain, like a plain surface to be able to put the rope on. You're also gonna need some of the thicker nautical rope that they have at the Dollar Tree. They still have it now. It's super coastal vibes. It's nice and thick and easy to work with. You could even use the thinner twine if you wanted to, but this one is definitely the best. So we're going to be spelling out the word relax with the rope. So I started with the letter R first. I shaped the R and then I cut it. I'm going to add some of the heavy duty hot glue to the back of the R so that it stays on the wood. I definitely suggest some of that heavy duty hot glue so that things don't come up later on and it just makes it a lot easier. This is way easier than it actually looks. I kept on trying over and over but if you're able to get the shape just right it will come out perfect. So then I went on to the E, I did the L, and then I cut it. Some of these words can't be all connected. If you can get it to connect, it'll look even better, but I had to separate it a little bit. And I think that it turned out fine. 
Also, I wanted to say at the Dollar Tree now, they have like this white picture frame that has the word relax in it. You could add some of this rope to that to get the same beachy vibe and not have to spell it out. I still am not able to find it, so that's why I'm doing it this way. But I've seen so many different words that people have spelled out, but I think that relax goes with the whole beachy vibe, and I really, really like the way that it turned out. So this is how it looks once it's completely done. It's super easy, especially because I already had the wood surface to use, but I think that it goes well with the rest of our beachy decor. And even if you're into like that farmhouse look, I've seen a lot of these signs be used in farmhouse decor. So I absolutely love the way that it turned out. Super easy, really inexpensive, and it didn't take a lot of time to dry or anything like that. So if you guys aren't really into DIY and you like have no time, this is definitely the DIY for you to do. So now for our third and final DIY, I'm going to be using one of the galvanized buckets that were available at the Dollar Tree with the twine already around it. You could use any other kind of bucket. This one, it was what I had, so it cost me nothing. We're going to be using the same shells as I used in the first DIY. And again, the flat shells work best, especially on this type of surface, but whatever you can find using that heavy duty hot glue is what's gonna make them really stick. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start at the bottom and I'm gonna place the shells all the way around and then I'm gonna move my way up, filling in any gaps so that it looks super full. That's basically the full DIY. You just place shells around a tin and bam, you got a shell thing to hold your flowers. I know it's super easy, but I think that it turned out really, really nicely and it was also really, really easy. So like I said, use the um, heavy duty hot glue, take your time, use the flat shells, and you got yourself an easy DIY. So my plan is to use all of this decor in my bathroom, so I thought that this would look really nice on a shelf. It would add the same beachy vibe, but you guys know I love those fake flowers. I use them basically everywhere in my house. I love the way that it turned out. I think that it looks really nice, but it also kind of looks kind of farmhouse. So you guys can let me know what you think in the comment section down below. I want to hear which one was your favorite one or your least favorite one. Put it in the comment section down below. I love talking with you guys. And again, if you have not subscribed, I would love to have you click the subscribe button before you go. We're putting out new videos every single week. I love you guys. I hope you're doing amazing and I will see you guys next time for another video. Bye you guys.